I am at a 4.9999998, which sounds like I'm riding the fence. And guess what? Yeah, I am. I'm too much of a coward to pick the Mariners to win a three-game series against the big, bad Houston Astros, who I do believe are the best team in the American League. And you saw how the last series went. Seattle lingered, as they have been doing just about all year. And in all of those games, there was a moment where it looked like Seattle could potentially punch their way back into the game. And they, of course, did that in the first game of the series. But Houston was walloping them with run after run after run. However, there are several differences this time around that have me feeling a little bit more confident in this team's ability to potentially go down there and take two or three. As I said before, they lingered in that series in all three of those games. You're also not going to see McCacken on the hill, who started that first game for Seattle and did not do so well, especially the first two innings where the Houston Astros took a massive lead. You've now got, coming up over the next three games, Yusei Kikuchi, who has been at times great this year, maybe not so much of late, Logan Gilbert, who looked great his first couple months, but maybe is starting to get figured out, at least based off of what we saw of him Sunday against the Blue Jays. And you have Tyler Anderson starting. Anderson has been the model of consistency all year long. So you got better starters for this three-game set. Not the best ones. You don't have Marco starting. You don't have Chris Flexen starting. But Flexen didn't do so well against the Astros the last time that these two teams played. Yusei Kikuchi was solid against them last time around. Is he going to be able to be a little bit more than that? Is he going to be perhaps the way that he was the second time around against New York? Where it felt like he was a little bit more confident. The first time around against New York, eh, didn't look so good. Abraham Toro is in as a second baseman the whole series. He had the pinch hit home run in the second game of that series. He has been pretty consistent since making himself a regular part of the Mariners' everyday lineup at second base. Jared Kelnick has been much better at the plate of late, too. So you look at him, a guy who I would imagine is definitely riding a much more confident horse as they head into this series against Houston, and you feel like he's going to be better in this one. And the biggest reason as far as the Mariners that I feel like things could, could be different this time around against Houston, is Mitch Hanniger really going to go 1-14 for 14 in that series again? He went one for 14 in that three-game set against Houston. I'm hoping that yesterday, where Mitch Hanniger did go yard, is going to be a start for Hanniger to bust out of a slump that he's in, been in for, for quite a bit of time. You know, it's been a couple of weeks where he has not looked like the guy that we've, saw, we've seen for the most part this year. The guy who's definitely, I would say, pound for pound the Mariners' best player. Is he going to be able to catch fire again? Hopefully. At the very least, just don't be as bad as you were last time around. And then there's the Houston side of things. And I threw this question out there, and, I, and some of my Houston followers responded, and they aren't feeling as that, that great about this series. For what it's worth, sometimes a fan base can tell you a whole lot about where a team is. Alex Bregman, still out. Kyle Tucker, still out. Their starter, Jose Urquidy, still out. They got Jacob Wilson starting games. This is a series that's an opportunity for Seattle. And while I am not super confident in their chances to take two or three against Houston, I do think it is possible. And last time around, I would not have told you that. 